Uh, I'm super excited. I mean, my heart's in Queens. I spent four years there. My oldest son was born there. It's where I grew up. I became a man there. Uh, and so to be able to come back and to see the moves they're making, uh, it's been great, man. There's a lot of excitement. Uh, the fan base has been hungry for it. And it's nice to see some things going their way. I talked to my wife when they called and I, my agent, and I was like, man, I kind of already said goodbye kind of emotionally to the game. And Whitney looked at me, my wife, Whitney, and she was like, you know, you still feel good. Why not just try to get in shape, see how your arm feels, see if your body responds. You know, I'm 37 now. Uh, it was just the perfect storm. Like I said, I, I love the Mets. Uh, I have so much respect for the fans. I love the city. Um, I love the field. They've treated my family great. And on top of that, with Alderson and Stevie Cohen and, and just the family of the Mets itself, uh, it was the perfect storm for me to, to try to give this one more go. If I'm good enough, I'm good enough. If I'm not, I can hang it up. I have nothing but to prove anymore. Um, if I could still play at a big league level, I'm happy. If not, I'll hang them up. And uh, now I'm just going to enjoy this game, uh, play it like I did when I was a kid, and, and just go out there and have fun and try to do the best I can with no pressure whatsoever on me and try to make a couple of memories that maybe uh, get some some points for my kids to think I'm pretty cool one day when they see me playing for the big leagues.